All right, guys, Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews here with a little bit different style looking uh, vi uh, video. Today we're going to take a look at the Ice Cream Cake Pale Ale, brewed by Collective Beer Works in collab with the ILFCB. Uh, this is a 6.4% alcohol by volume um, pale ale. It's really something else. It's been a little bit of a buffalo phenomenon. I didn't get any IBUs noted. Um, this is a collaboration brew with the Indian Ladder Farms Cider and Brewery. So that's the ILFCB. Uh, this is a New York grown and malted two row pale malt, New York grown naked oats, lactose, and yellow cake mix. Yes, really, plus one whole ice cream cake, providing a Subtle sweetness to balance out this creamy pale ale. Um, I was fortunate enough to get one of these on release day. Two of them, actually. And I'm going to crack it open, and I'm going to show you guys all about it. All right, let's take a look at this beer. Uh, ice cream cake pale ale. Uh, you know, I, I grabbed two. The first one kind of helped me wrap my brain around what I was going to be drinking. The second one I could show you guys. Canned on March 30th, uh, you know, today's April 5th. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, these little crawlers have held up with carbonation and whatnot. So, yeah, ice cream cake pale ale. Whew. So, it was a lot of fun for that first crawler that I had to kind of, you know, you had enough beer to t kind of take your time and kind of see if you could pinpoint the yellow cake uh, batter, the ice cream, stuff like that. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know if I did a really good job. It's just a really kind of complex sort of name and, you know, ingredients. Again, this is the Ice Cream Cake Pale Ale from Collective, or from Community Beer Works. Sorry about that. So look at this thing. It's awesome. Uh, it's got a, a really nice, subtle haziness to it. Something I, I wasn't sure uh, I was going to see. I didn't, honestly didn't know what to expect. Um, now, it's not like a, the Heffy Weizen. It's not like their banana split Heffy uh, Weizen, but um, this is a pale ale. So it's a little on the hazy side, and it's got a nice, it goes from like a, a muddled yellow to like a, almost like a deep golden color in the body of the glass well carbonated still which is awesome and it's giving me this nice looking head you know a finger plus uh of this nice head mm. hmm. and you know i didn't really get much on what like hops were used i just got a couple of of the maltedness i got the naked oats um and stuff like that the lactose which i think is it is really the the main kind of uh, the main character in this beer, so yeah. So let's see what this thing is like, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, still still really good. Um, I'm I'm really happy. I got them on I got it on Saturday. And it's Thursday, and I'm really happy that it's still this good. So, um, you know, a couple days in the can didn't do it uh, bad. It is, it's a good IPA to start with. The IPA base, I think, you could play ball with. I think the Happy Vizen, um base also probably you could play a lot of ball with. But I think right up front, you get, you get a little bit of that maltiness. I think that's initially what draws your nose in and your palate. It's a crispy maltiness. But then as you try to, as you, you keep drinking, you try to put your finger on that, that yellow cake mix. Eh, I can't really nail it down. I think maybe because I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember... You know, just plain old yellow cake mix. Now, nothing with frosting. So, talking about cake mix, it's a subtle, it's a subtle sweetness, right? It's 
you know, cake. It's fluffy. It's it's moist. Um, this is and it's subtle, right? Um, this is a, a ever so subtle on the sweetness too, and with the ice cream, with that lactose sort, uh, you can get a, like a soft, sugary, like lactose sort of of sweetness to it as well. Everything seems to be subtle and soft with with these maneuvers around the beer. Hmm. Yeah, and it's just kind of really fun to play around with the name, with the with the creation process, with the drinking uh, process. You know, trying to uh, see if you can come up with you know identifying these these characteristics. And it is, it's fun. So this is a little ex post facto look at the ice cream cake pale ale by Community Beer Works. Um, I threw it out on video. I'm not sure if they have any left at the brewery. Um, you know, it's an event when community cans a beer because they don't can a lot, you know, and, and it is, it's a phenomenon. So I wanted to put it on the video. I wanted to show you guys, you know, what it looks like, what it is. I wanted to let you know that there's such a creation as the, um, ice cream cake pale ale. So if you want to start following news from community beer works about the next time they're going to can a beer, and release it and do something fun, you guys can go ahead and uh, be prepared for that. Uh, currently in Buffalo, they're on uh, Lafayette and Niagara. Uh, soon to be moving to 7th and Jersey, a little bit closer towards downtown. They're gonna have a, you know, a really new big space. They're gonna have a kitchen, they're gonna have a storeroom. They're uh, hopefully, Maybe canning might be a little bit more um, commonplace in the new uh, digs. So that's it for me, guys. Uh, it's a it's a cold, crappy Thursday afternoon. So I am going to continue to drink this, even though it's my last one, and I'm upset. I continue to keep drinking this and um, enjoying it, but it is not going to be a hard beer to finish. Um, I know I say that a lot. There's very few beers I have on this channel that I do not dig, but this one is one that I love. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave me a thumbs up or a comment. Maybe uh, give me a heads up on any new beers that are coming out soon. Um, in case anybody you know wants to make plans, Saturday uh, trial by Wombat from uh, Thin Man is coming out. So I may load up the GoPro and you know, maybe get some trial by Wombat. So that might be up in the next couple of videos. So have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.